All right, so yesterday I was just going to take the vanity and the toilet out, which led to a leaky valve. It's almost dried up now, which led to a broken pipe, which led to drywall removal. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing any of that. Um, one good thing I found, though, was um, my toilet. This Ever since we bought the house last year, this toilet would always get clogged. And I snaked it and everything. And um, when I took the toilet off, it's a four-inch pipe. And, like, there was only maybe two inches open. Uh, There's just this white caked-on stuff uh, around where, like, a wax ring would be. And I don't know if the wax did that over time. I think maybe when they were mudding in here or doing something, they poured it down the drain. It wasn't like concrete. It broke up pretty easily. But it was thick. And, um... I suspect the rest of the pipe was clean as a whistle once you got down past the 90 degree elbow. So I cleaned all that out, uh, trying to keep preventing from getting worse. Today we're going <laughs> to, I'm going to work on uh, taking the shower out. We're going to strip it down to the studs. Um, hopefully this tub will come out here somewhat easily. Um, and then we're going to finish removing the floor and uh, I don't know about this wall yet. I'm going to try to leave it, maybe figure out another toilet paper holder for that old one. And I don't know what we're going to do with the dryer, with the uh, heat vent for the HVAC. If uh, I have to have another silly vent like that, or if I can put one on the floor, we'll find out when we get into that. But this tile should come down pretty easily. Um, again, I'm just kind of concerned about the tub, so let's see what happens. All right, first challenge of the day. Um... I tried twisting that tub spigot off and I I think it's corroded on there. I think it's bending the pipe, which isn't too big of a deal because we're going to do away with the tub spigot anyways. Actually, we're going to redo all this plumbing. Um, but then I took this screw out. It's just sitting there. It's not actually tight, but I cannot get the uh, handle off and the water's still on. So I didn't want to twist it, um, but I was hoping I'd be able to get that to slide off because now I'm in a situation where, let's see if I can get back here, I'm going to have to break that up around there because I got this loose and actually the drywall is in good shape, but we're redoing that anyway, so there's no use trying to save it, but um, I'm trying to do this without getting wet and without having to turn the water off, so we'll see what happens. So by now you're probably wondering why I just don't do a time lapse. Well, I'm not that fancy pants yet. I'm just doing this on my cell phone. That's why there's probably poor quality. I did find this uh, hidden behind the wall. <laughs> I guess that's how they anchored the um, shower rod. But this wasn't, the wood wasn't connected to anything. It was just, I guess, to support the drywall. I don't know why people do the things they do. Like, every time you stay in a hotel in the shower head, it's like five foot ten. I don't know why they do that. Uh, why couldn't they make it like six five? Uh, I hate having to duck down to take a shower. But we're gonna fix that, and we're gonna replace all of this. I still don't know why I can't get that off, but it's not gonna matter because we're gonna. I'm gonna cut these pipes, and then we're gonna go PEX all new because we're putting a much better shower in. And I'm excited about that. Uh, it's going to be a little more work, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. So again, the goal today is get the tub out of here. Uh, even if we don't do that, I can still, I think, get my measurement. I just got to take this wall apart over here. And then I can uh, bring in the backer board, uh, put a tile up there, compensate for a little thin set, and uh, get my shower door ordered so we can get it on the way. All right, so hopefully next step, more tile removal. So that tile came off in like two sheets. It only took like 30 seconds. Um, unfortunately, I still gonna have to take all this drywall off because that's going to mess up what we're going to do with the shower. So got a little more work, a little more mess to make, but I was pretty happy. I caught a break there. Hopefully this back wall will come off in a couple pieces as well. All right, I am now about two hours into day two, and we got that wall off the tile, 
plumbing side of the wall off tile. And I took all the tile off the back, um, but we filled up our trash bins. <laughs> and this is where uh, good planning comes into play. We Our trash gets picked up once a week, but because of a snow day, it actually got picked up twice last week. And I just missed both days. So I could have had two pickups uh, plus filling up the t uh, cans a third time. However, I missed it. So I don't need this drywall down today uh, to get the tub, obviously, and to get my measurements for the door. So uh, all that's left today is to get the tub out. And if that goes well, I'll probably go ahead and pull up this laminate flooring, try to, whatever. Hopefully it'll come up pretty easily. And I'm actually a little concerned, of course you can't see it on video, but there's a slope here in this bathroom. Um, like if you put a marble there, it will roll easily. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to do any leveling here or not, because we did decide to put tile down. And remember earlier I said, I didn't think this was coming unthreaded. Maybe it's soldered on, what do I know? But I do know when I went to twist it, <laughs> it bent the pipe. So, of course, there's no water going to that without turning it on, but um, I'm glad I stopped and took the drywall. Now, I'm going to vacuum this up, and I don't know what I'm going to get into underneath here, and I don't know. I think this is like a porcelain tub, which is it is. I ought to be able to sludge it into pieces, but the last time I thought that on a tub, it ended up having metal inside. It was a pain in the butt. So, I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe if I get a flashlight, we'll take a look at that. Um, all right, hopefully my next uh, clip will be with the bathtub out of the bathroom. All right, quick update. Uh, the tub is definitely metal. As soon as I got a flashlight, I could see the inside of the tub. Um, this washer, uh, fortunately, was easy. Uh, not washer, I guess it's a nut, <laughs> sorry. Was easy to come off. However, um, the cross uh, bars in the drain are broken. So thanks to wonderful YouTube, I just did a quick search and it showed me a hack where I can cut in to um, slats and hopefully use a crowbar to get this out. So we're gonna try it and see what happens. All right, well, I got the crowbar in there and uh, I am not able to get it to budge. And I really don't want to damage um, the drain pipe because that is all like solid, I don't know what is that old stuff, cast iron, <laughs> brass, I don't know, it's heavy metal. Um, definitely ain't no PVC plastic. So I went out to the garage to see what I could find. I was hoping I could find like a fence post or something to get me some leverage. And unfortunately right now, all I could find is this post driver. So, uh, for the sake of embarrassing footage, I am not going to record myself doing this, and we'll see what happens. Okay, well, I wanted to cut that tub in half, the cast iron, and I couldn't find my uh, sawzall, my reciprocating saw, and I don't know where it is. So, I was thinking about using a circular saw with a metal cutoff blade on it, um, and I have a grinder. But the grinder would take forever and I didn't have a metal blade for the circular saw. <laughs> Just a diamond tile blade. So this is what I ended up doing. Use the old sledgehammer. And unfortunately I was never able to get the drain off and I'm guessing all my vibration caused this to happen. So, remember when I said that uh, the one thing I dreaded doing? And that's why. Now, fortunately, that's a crawl space down there. So, I'm going to have to get under the house and uh, do some plumbing here. Which I wasn't planning on doing, but that's what you get when you do these kind of projects. So now that our trash can's full, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about this couple hundred pounds of cast iron. Uh, we shall see. 
All right, day two is in the books. Got the tub out of here, and I, that was already cut like that. I'm gonna have to kind of reinforce that, I think, for the shower base. Um, once I figure out where the drain's gonna be, I guess that's the good thing about having that drain pipe come apart, is I'll get a position it where I want it. But this subfloor, it definitely slopes. So I think I'm going to buy some self-leveling compound. I got to measure and see how much we got to come up. But this side is low over here. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Hopefully not. This stud I'm going to have to reinforce. It's kind of split down there. And they did this weird thing. They, they did these 2x4s, but then shimmed them out to a 2x6 whip. Um, so I don't know. We're going to have to... Take a look at that as well, but uh, we were, got everything we needed for the measurement to get the door done. And the next time I get back to this project here, uh, next couple days, I'm going to pull all that plumbing out, replumb. We'll get this uh, rest of this drywall off, and I think we'll be able to start setting the backboard for the shower. This is a new system I'm using, so I've been watching some videos. Uh, we'll see if I'm in over my head or not. It's supposed to be a DIY project, so we'll see. But not bad for a couple hours today. And I will see you on the next video, part three.